be taking a break for the holidays, but scam artists definitely are not. Tuesday revealed to you the first six of what the Better Business Bureau is calling the 12 scams of Christmas. And we continue today with 7 Action News reporter Amira David breaking down the remaining six, including the one the Better Business Bureau says claims the most victims during the holidays, so you don't waste your money. At this time of year, we're singing about the 12 days of Christmas, but it's the 12 scams of Christmas the BBB says you've got to pay attention to. It feels terrible. I've been sick ever since. Marion Donovan learned that the hard way. The senior got a distressed phone call from a person she thought was her grandson, saying he needed help after a run-in with the law. They told me they needed $4,000 by 4 o'clock that afternoon when he went and in front of the judge. It wasn't until after she forked it over that she realized she'd fallen victim to the quickly popularizing grandparent scam. The eighth scam of Christmas is the social media gift exchange ploy. You're told if you buy one gift, you'll get up to 36 gifts in return. Sounds awesome, right? Because you only have to buy one gift yourself. But that's essentially a pyramid scheme, which is illegal. And you won't get any gifts in the end. Meantime, Santa apps are the ninth scam of Christmas. The legitimate ones allow your child to get personalized phone calls and video messages from Santa. But now, there are fake ones out there, and after you sign up... The scammer can then access not only your personal information, but your child's personal information. The 10th scam of Christmas? No surprise. Gift cards. They make for great presents, but be careful because a hacker can easily swipe the number from the back and drain your funds before you even get to use it. Make sure your verification code on the back isn't exposed before you buy. As for the 11th scam of Christmas, Melanie LeCasper knows it better than most. I said, oh, the Pomeranians are so cute. The Milford native almost fell for a puppy scam after finding this beautiful white Pomeranian online, but sensed a red flag when the seller asked her to use the family and friends option of PayPal. You don't get refunds if you pay through family and friends. But taking the top spot as the most prevalent scam seen during Christmas is bogus websites. The BBB says year to date, they've tracked more than $100,000 lost from consumers getting duped online. Much of that from lookalike websites. It's a website that looks identical to any other website, um, but the problem is it's not an actual retailer. Bottom line, this is the time of year. Scammers are working hard to build you out of your hard-earned money. But if you know how to recognize a scam, you'll win every time. For a full list of the 12 scams of Christmas, just head to our website,